I will show you types of research questions, what are exploratory research questions and example, what are descriptive research questions and example, what are causal research questions and example. Types of research questions. There are three basic types of questions that research projects can address. Exploratory research question, descriptive research question and causal research question. We will now look at each of these in some detail. What are exploratory research questions? Exploratory research questions are typically developed when not much is known about a particular phenomenon, existing research results are unclear or suffer from serious limitations, the topic is highly complex or there is not enough theory available to guide the development of a theoretical framework. Exploratory research often relies on qualitative approaches to data gathering such as informal discussions with consumers, employees, managers, interviews, focus groups and case studies. Exploratory research is flexible in nature. Exploratory research question example. The manager of a multinational corporation is curious to know if the employees working in its subsidiary Panathor city are different from those of Americans. There is very little information about Panathor except that it is a very small city in southern India and since there is considerable controversy about what work ethic values means to people in other cultures. The manager's curiosity can be satisfied only by an exploratory study interviewing the employees in organizations in Panathur. Religion, political, economic and social conditions, upbringing, cultural values and so on play a major role in how people view their work in different parts of the world. Here, since very little is known about work ethic values in India, an exploratory study will have to be undertaken. What are descriptive research questions? Descriptive studies design collect data that describes characteristics of an object such as persons, organization, products or brands, events or situations. Descriptive research is either quantitative or qualitative in nature. Descriptive research questions involve the collection of quantitative data such as satisfaction, ratings, production figures, sales figures or demographic data. Descriptive research questions also involve the collection of qualitative information. For example, qualitative data might be gathered to describe how consumers go through a discussion through a decision-making process or to examine how managers resolve conflicts in an organization. Descriptive research question example. A CEO may be interested in having a description of how companies in her industry have incorporated corporate social responsibility into the business strategy of the organizations. Such information might allow comparison later of the performance level of specific types of companies. What are causal research questions? Causal studies test whether or not one variable causes another variable to change. In a causal study, the researcher is interested in describing one or more factors that are causing a problem. Causal research questions example. Typical example of causal research questions are what is the effect of a reward system on productivity and how does perceived value affect consumer purchase intentions? Causal research question examples. The intention of a researcher conducting a causal study is to be able to state that variable X causes variable Y. So when variable X is removed or altered in some way, problem Y is solved. When to develop these research questions? Explorative research questions. Explorative research is used when the topic or issue is new and when data is difficult to collect, mainly during qualitative research. Descriptive research questions can be developed during qualitative and quantitative research and causal research questions can be developed during quantitative research and experimental design because of the time sequence condition. Descriptive research, definition, example, characteristics, methods, and pros and cons of using descriptive research. Definition of descriptive research. In descriptive research, the researcher describes a situation or case in depth in their research materials. This type of research design is purely on a theoretical basis 
where the individual collects the data, analyzes, prepares, and then presents it in an understandable manner. It is a more generalized form of research design. Example of descriptive research How has the London housing market changed over the past 20 years? Do customers of company A prefer product C or product D? What are the main genetic, behavioral, and morphological differences between Indian wild cows and hybrid cows? How prevalent is disease 1 in population Z? Characteristics of descriptive research Quantitative in nature Descriptive research involves a collection of quantifiable and systematic data that can be used for the statistical analysis of the research problem. Uncontrolled variables One of the most prominent characteristics of descriptive research is that, unlike in experimental research, the variables are not controlled or manipulated. Instead, they are simply identified, observed, and measured. A basis for further research the data collected in descriptive research provides a base for further research as it helps obtain a comprehensive understanding of the research questions so it can be answered appropriately. Cross-sectional studies The descriptive method of research is generally carried out through cross-sectional studies. A cross-sectional study is a type of observational study that involves gathering information on a variety of variables at the individual level at a given point in time. Why to use descriptive research? To measure data trend, the descriptive method of research can be used to measure changes in variable over a period of time, allowing trends to be identified and analyzed. To compare variables, descriptive research can be used to compare different variables as well as how different demographic responds to different variables. To define the characteristics of subjects, it can also be used to determine the different characteristics of the subject. This can include characteristics such as opinions, traits, behaviors, etc. To verify or validate existing conditions, descriptive research can prove to be a useful tool when trying to test the validity of an existing condition as it involves conducting an in-depth analysis of every variable before drawing conclusions. Pros and cons of descriptive research Let's first look at the pros of descriptive research. Multiple methods of data collection In the descriptive method of research, many different methods of data collection can be used, including the case study method, observational method, and the survey method. Fast and cost-effective As a descriptive research design often employs the use of surveys that can be collected from a very large sample size in a quick and cost-effective way. Comprehensive Descriptive research often employs the use of quantitative and qualitative research, providing a more holistic understanding of the research topic. Have high external validity Results obtained through the descriptive method of research often have high external validity as research is conducted in the respondent's natural environment and no variables are manipulated. Cons of descriptive research Cannot test or verify the research question The descriptive method of research cannot be used to test or verify the research problem as the data collected does not help explain the cause of the phenomena being studied. Lack of reliability If the research problem isn't formulated well, then the data collected may not be entirely reliable. This also makes it more difficult to carry out a creditable investigation. Risk of untrue responses Descriptive research relies on the responses of people, especially when conducted using surveys. There may be instances when people provide false responses and this will compromise the validity of data collected and ultimately the results of the research. Risk of sampling error the descriptive method of research generally employs random sampling while selecting a sample group. The randomness may lead to sampling error if the sample group isn't representative of the larger population. Sampling error would lead to unreliable and inaccurate results. There are three key methods used to carry out descriptive research. Surveys, case studies, and observations. Surveys. In survey research, questionnaires or pools are used to collect information on a specific topic from respondents. Surveys should involve a mix of close-ended and open-ended questions as both have their own advantages. Surveys are a cost-effective method of data collection as they can be conducted through a range of digital and non-digital channels such as email, websites, and phone surveys. Surveys are commonly used to understand the demographic of a geographical region or to gauge public opinions on social or political subjects. Case Studies the case study method involves the in-depth research of individuals or group of individuals. 
Case studies involve gathering of detailed data on a narrowly defined subject rather than gathering a large volume of data to identify correlations and patterns. Therefore, this method is often used to describe the different characteristics of a specific subject rather than to describe generalizable facts. Case studies allow researchers to create hypotheses that can widen the scope of evaluation while studying the phenomenon. Observations In this method, researchers observe respondents in their natural environment from a distance and therefore do not influence the variables being studied. This allows them to gather information on the behaviors and characteristics being studied without having to rely on respondents for honest and accurate responses. The observational method is considered the most effective method to carry out descriptive research. It involves the collection of both qualitative and quantitative data.